What once may have drawn gasps now feels commonplace in many parts of Portland. Open air drug use, the needles, smoking and death. The police bureau is investigating more than 100 suspected drug overdose deaths from this year alone. I have a little sister. She's like, she's turning seven. And there have been times where like I've been out with her and I've had to, you know, steer her away from somebody who is clearly using like heroin or something like that. Possessing small amounts of hard drugs in Oregon is no longer a felony because of Measure 110. Since 2021, police have been issuing $100 civil citations for drug possession. Recipients can get that fine waived if they call a phone number for a drug treatment assessment. On Thursday, Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler noted that of the thousands of civil citations issued statewide, only 189 have resulted in drug treatment assessments. Clearly, this is not working as it was intended to. Wheeler said next week he'll bring a new ordinance to city council outlawing public drug use in Portland. He wants it to close the loophole between legal possession of hard drugs and using them in public. We've all heard stories of people walking down the street and finding themselves in a cloud of unknown smoke and having to seek medical treatment for what they've just unwillingly inhaled. The mayor declined our request for an interview. Instead, he shared these pre-recorded statements. This is a common sense approach. We must make it clear that people cannot use drugs in public spaces. Ordinance violators could face up to a $500 fine or six months in jail. Portlanders we spoke with have mixed feelings about the approach. I think it's not just as simple as open air use of drugs. Bertoni Faustin owns Abbey Creek Winery and a tasting room downtown. He's concerned that, as with Measure 110, lack of other steps and actions could render very little from new efforts. You have an ordinance, but what are you bringing along with it? You know, whether it's support, whether it's services, etc. So I think it's going to take more than just an ordinance. It feels like if there was less drug use right in front of me and more so behind closed doors, I think that would just be better in general. And for those with no doors to close behind them, more concerns. As far as having safe injection sites and stuff like that, so if they're going to legal or make it illegal to use drugs in public spaces, uh, then they should definitely have those kind of places open. And meanwhile, the drugs keep flowing and Oregonians keep struggling. The National Survey on Drug Use and Health showed Oregon ranked worst in the nation last year for adults and teens reporting illicit drug use disorders. Also, it found Oregon had the most people per capita who sought out drug treatment but were unable to access it, David. Yeah, both rankings there that give us all a rough reality check. Thank you, Catherine.